Okay, for our website now, what we'll need to do is to create some um, navigation buttons and we need to create your heading and your subheading buttons. And obviously you should um, possibly have created a logo to put into um, your website. So what the first thing you need to do, if you notice, is actually sending my page down to the bottom. So I'd put it to the top. Same with all these, I default them all to the top on the left. Okay, so that means that when you put it in, you know, the text doesn't start halfway down the page. It just looks much better like that. Okay, so if you wanted to insert an image, you would just go insert image. And I've got some images in my folder ready. And you can just name it. So if it disappears, you know what image it is. And then resize it. So you can resize either by dragging and then click away and it'll make itself smaller. Or you can resize it using the width and height here. Okay, so you can resize it there. Okay, so we now need to create the headings and we now need to create the navigation buttons. So to create the navigation buttons, you're going to need to go into your photo editing software. Uh, mine is um, Fireworks. So create new and the buttons would probably be um, 100 maximum by 50 in height. And I'm going to leave it as transparent. Okay, so we've got a nice shape for a button. And very quickly, we will add in our button shapes. And decide on the colour that you want. You can add a border. Change the size of the border if you want to. Modify canvas canvas so once you've got your text in there so the first button is going to be home writing's rather large home, not homes select if you want to move anything so this is home and I think I'll have the text first of all as white Okay, so then you will file, save as, and put it into your work. Once you've gone in, once it should be um, quite easy. So I'm going to create a new folder called Navigation and subheadings so it just means i'm going to keep everything organized and together that's very important and this is the home one now the reason i call it home one is because with rollover buttons you want them to change when you have rolled over them so that you know that you're hovering over them and you'll see that in a minute so i'm just going to change the color on the uh, text um, to something else and maybe the outside as well so that they match and file save as and I'll call it home 2. Now you're going to need to do that for all your buttons so I'm going to pause it there while I create all the buttons and then I'll show you how to import them in. Okay so you can see I have created two versions of every button now. So that means that when I do the rollovers, it will start as feature one. When I roll over it, it will turn to the features two picture, etc. Next thing you need to do is to make the subheading. So I'd need a subheading for features, for gigs, for home and for songs. So to create them, what you can do is either resize um, the image that you've got or create a new image and width perhaps 900 and 100 and we've got transparent 
for our canvas colour. Okay, so this seems like quite a nice shape. And you can put your size on. We've got um, our borders. We've got the same colour because we were just using it. And then insert our text. Now you can change the different types of styles of text. You might want to make it a bit different as you're going along. Okay, so decide which one suits your house style for whatever company that you are creating. Um, Broadway seems like a quite an apt one for an artist. So we've got home. And then we can resize the text so it fits in. So I'm sure you're highlighting it. Right, so this can become our home button. If you move it around, and when you get to the centre, you can see it will start. Okay, so the line will tell you that you're exactly in the middle. And there you're exactly in the middle where it crosses. Right, I don't like this colour, so I'm going to change that. To a white. Okay. Save it into your navigation button. So this is your home subheading. Make sure that you save them under the right names, otherwise, it makes it far harder for you to uh, find them when you're inserting. Then you can just change the names. File. Save as and do that for everyone. I won't show you that, I'll pause it. Okay, so you can see now that we have all our buttons and all our subheadings ready to put them into our website.